it's something that I think we're all called to do. We probably don't know that we're doing it sometimes. My thinking was, I got to I got to do something, I can do something, so I should be doing something. Well, I first heard about Osnham House from my daughter, my son-in-law and my granddaughter, who were volunteering here. And I thought, well, if it's good enough for them, and in their busy life, and I'd recently retired, I'm thinking, well, why not me? But they put me in touch with Louise, and. The rest is sort of history, I think. Frank has been volunteering with us for six years. Uh, I met him, he, he said he was a Virgo. He was, said he was very organised and I was really looking for someone to support us with our material aid. He's always, you know, willing to do anything, like as, at the moment he's working in the, in the kitchen, helping out with breakfast, but he, you know, he does driving for us. He helps out in the O Cafe. He's just one of those just champion, uh, champion people. Coming into this place, this place is now, I think it's about 135 people that are here. But I think also what is important is that they cater for other needs, uh, you know, their medical needs, dentists, acupuncturists, haircuts. They can also come in off the street and have a shower and do some washing. I know it's been described as a state of the art. I don't know what the other places are like, I haven't been there compare this place to the old house, yeah, it's fantastic. I could not do what I do without Frank. Frank is kind of like my backbone, <laughs> so I just know, knowing Frank's on site just makes the day better. So coordinating the material aid, that's a huge thing. Doing the markets, um, getting material aid to clients, just the rapport he's able to build with our client group. I found that we were having stock, but it was there maybe a little bit longer than it should have been. So when Louise and I talked about this and said, how can we move the stock? Because we don't want to keep it here. We want to make sure that it goes out to those that need it. So we had a market, so we have a winter market. It invites anybody to come in. It's not just for the residents, it's anybody in the street. We had one earlier this month where 110 people came in and they received scarves and beanies and all the woolen things that at this time of the year are really important. Uh, some blankets uh, are also, were also available. We can make them available because of these other organisations that are donating them to us. So um, it's a pleasure to give it out to them and there's lots of people on Louise's team that man those tables and hand those goodies out to all these people that need them. Everyone loves Frank and we're so grateful that he chooses to volunteer with us each week. I'd say you get more than you give, but giving makes you feel good. I, I, I really think that if you were looking for something to do, I mean, I, when I retired, I looked to do other things. So it's not as if I immediately chose Osmond because I wanted to do that. I chose or I, I looked to do the service clubs and that wasn't for me. This was for me. So we all have a, an area that we'd be fine in, you know. There must be thousands of jobs that we can do, but Osnham is a great place to do it. Lovely people, and um, yeah, I think once you start doing it, you'll get more than you give. I think that's what we're meant to do in that call to serve. And if we can share and, and help others that haven't got them, and isn't that what life is about?